Hello everybody, I'm reading Luke 2, 1 to 2. And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This census first took place while Quirinius was governing Syria. Luke is recording history here, so here's a very little history lesson. Caesar Augustus' actual name was Octavian. He was the nephew of Julius Caesar and a very gifted young man, apparently. So Julius Caesar had nominated him as his heir. But then in 44 BC, Julius Caesar was assassinated and the Roman Empire was plunged in, into civil war. Octavian was the leader of one of the parties fighting for domination. After many years, he prevailed. He united, in inverted commas, the whole Roman Empire under his authority in about 30 BC. During the civil wars, as in all war zones, there had been terrible suffering, abuse, violence, criminality, gangs of violent robbers were roaming and plying their trade. There were kidnappings, forcing people into slavery. Nowhere was safe because law and order had broken down. It was a very miserable time. Trade diminished. It wasn't safe to trade. Inflation soared. Poverty became widespread. Even the wealthy were struggling. Once Octavian gained the victory in about 30 BC, he declared himself to be the emperor. In fact, he was the first Roman emperor. He took the title Augustus, which means exalted one. Rome had been a republic and the Romans had known something of both democracy and the principle of the rule of law, the principle that, that no one is above the law. Then the strong man, Caesar Augustus, came to power. He restored, it's true that he restored both peace and law and order, but there was no longer truly a republic. There was an empire ruled by one person, the emperor, Caesar Augustus. Wealth returned even greater wealth than the Romans had known before. And the peace that Augustus established continued for 200 years. Having absolute power has, of course, its advantages. The census mentioned in Luke 2.1 is an example. Augustus commanded all people in the empire to return to their home places so they could be efficiently taxed, not just counted. And this happened exactly at the right time as far as the purposes of God are concerned. It meant that Jesus was born in Bethlehem and not in Nazareth. The Lord moved world events and world powers in order to have his son born in Bethlehem to fulfill the prophecy of Micah 5 verse 2. It also meant that the conditions for the rapid spread of the gospel over the next 200 years were very good because of the, the so-called Pax Romana, the, the Roman peace. So here we see the great power of God. God is at, at one and the same time bending people and events to his will. And he is also leaving people to make their own real choices and carry out their own plans. And even though these are often wrong choices, frequently even immoral and evil schemes, God in his greatness is able to bend even these to his own will and bring his plans to pass. How he does it, I don't know. He is the Lord. He is in control. May it give us confidence to trust him every day and in every thing, in every area of our lives. Amen. Happy Christmas.